In the world of Canadian politics, there's been a big stir lately, and it all revolves around two big names, Pierre Polyav and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. These two are at the centre of a major clash, and it's all because of a no-confidence motion that Polyav, the leader of the Conservative Party, has put forward against Trudeau. This motion is a big deal, and it's causing a lot of excitement and debate across the country. Let's break it down a bit. Pierre Polyav is known for being a strong conservative voice in Canadian politics. He's not afraid to speak his mind and stand up for what he believes in. On the other hand, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has had his fair share of controversies during his time in office. Some people aren't too happy with how he's been running things. Now, the big issue that's causing all this fuss is the carbon tax. Trudeau's government wants to raise the carbon tax, and Polyev isn't happy about it. He thinks it's going to hurt regular Canadians, and he's decided to take action. He's put forward this motion of no confidence against Trudeau, basically saying he doesn't trust Trudeau to lead the country anymore. This motion of no confidence is a big deal because it could potentially lead to Trudeau's government being kicked out of power. If enough members of parliament vote in favor of the motion, Trudeau could be out, and we might have to have a new election to choose a new government. This whole situation is causing a lot of tension and drama in Ottawa. Polyev and Trudeau are both digging in their heels and standing their ground. Polyev says he's doing this to stand up for regular Canadians who are tired of Trudeau's policies. Trudeau, on the other hand, says he's just trying to do what's best for the country, even if some people don't agree with him. As this drama unfolds, it's got everyone talking and wondering what's going to happen next. Will Polyev's motion of no confidence succeed, or will Trudeau manage to hold onto power? It's a nail-biting situation that's got the whole country watching. Here at Kenyatta Scoop, we'll be keeping a close eye on all the developments and bringing you the latest updates. So stay tuned, because things are about to get interesting in Canadian politics. As the political drama unfolds, it's important to delve deeper into the motivations behind Pierre Polyev's motion of no confidence and the implications it holds for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Canadian government as a whole. Polyev's decision to table the motion reflects a broader dissatisfaction with Trudeau's leadership and policies, particularly regarding the contentious issue of the carbon tax. One of the primary points of contention between Polyev and Trudeau is the government's carbon pricing scheme. Polyev and many conservatives argue that the carbon tax unfairly burdens Canadian families and businesses while doing little to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. They contend that it is a regressive tax that disproportionately affects lower-income Canadians, who are already struggling to make ends meet. Furthermore, Polyev has framed the motion of no confidence as a referendum on Trudeau's handling of pollution pricing. By putting forward the motion, Polyev is seeking to highlight what he sees as Trudeau's failure to address the concerns of ordinary Canadians and his stubborn insistence on pushing ahead with policies that are out of touch with the needs of the people. The impending vote on the motion of no confidence represents a critical juncture in Canadian politics. If successful, it could lead to Trudeau's government being ousted from power and a new election being called. This prospect has significant implications for the future direction of the country and the political landscape as a whole. For Trudeau, the motion of no confidence represents a significant challenge to his authority and legitimacy as prime minister. It underscores the growing discontent and frustration with his leadership and policies, particularly among conservative voters and politicians. Trudeau's response to the motion will be closely scrutinized, as it will reveal his ability to navigate the political minefield and rally support from his allies. The motion of no confidence also comes at a time of heightened political volatility and uncertainty in Canada. With the country still grappling with the fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic and facing numerous economic and social challenges, the prospect of a change in government adds another layer of complexity to an already fraught political landscape. Furthermore, the motion of no confidence has the potential to exacerbate divisions within the Canadian political landscape and deepen partisan divides. As Polyev and Trudeau square off against each other, they risk further polarizing public opinion and undermining trust in the political process. In addition to the broader political implications, the motion of no confidence also has practical consequences for the functioning of the Canadian government. If Trudeau's government is indeed toppled, it could lead to a period of political instability and gridlock as parties jockey for power and negotiate the formation of a new government. This uncertainty could further undermine confidence in Canada's institutions and hamper efforts to address pressing national issues. As the debate over the motion of no confidence intensifies, Canadians will be closely watching the actions of their elected representatives and assessing their response to the political turmoil. The outcome of the vote will have far-reaching implications for the future of the country and the trajectory of Canadian politics. In conclusion, Pierre Polyev's motion of no confidence represents a significant challenge to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Canadian government. It reflects broader dissatisfaction with Trudeau's leadership and policies, particularly regarding the carbon tax. The outcome of the vote will have profound implications for the future direction of the country and the political landscape as a whole. As Canadians grapple with the fallout from the motion, they must navigate a period of heightened political volatility and uncertainty, mindful of the potential consequences for the nation's democratic institutions and the welfare of its citizens. 
Furthermore, it's essential to consider the political maneuvering and strategies at play behind Polyev's motion of no confidence. Polyev's decision to escalate the confrontation with Trudeau reflects a calculated strategy aimed at galvanizing support among disaffected voters and positioning himself as a champion of Canadian taxpayers. By framing the motion as a referendum on Trudeau's handling of pollution pricing, Polyev seeks to capitalize on widespread opposition to the carbon tax and rally conservatives to his cause. Moreover, the timing of the motion is significant, coming at a time of heightened political tensions and uncertainty. With the April 1 price hike of the carbon tax looming large, Polyev's motion taps into public frustration and anxiety over rising costs and economic uncertainty. By seizing on this discontent, Polyev aims to leverage the motion as a potent political weapon against Trudeau and the Liberal government. For Trudeau, the motion of no confidence poses a significant political challenge and threatens to undermine his authority and credibility as Prime Minister. Trudeau's response to the motion will be closely scrutinized, as it will reveal his ability to navigate the political landscape and rally support from his allies. Moreover, Trudeau must contend with the broader implications of the motion for the future direction of his government and the Canadian political landscape as a whole. As the debate over the motion of no confidence intensifies, Canadians are faced with a critical decision about the future of their country and the trajectory of Canadian politics. The outcome of the vote will have far-reaching implications for the nation's democratic institutions, the welfare of its citizens, and the stability of its government. As Canadians grapple with these weighty considerations, they must remain vigilant in holding their elected representatives accountable and ensuring that the principles of democracy and good governance are upheld. In conclusion, Pierre Polyev's motion of no confidence represents a pivotal moment in Canadian politics, with profound implications for the country's future. The motion reflects broader dissatisfaction with Trudeau's leadership and policies, particularly regarding the carbon tax, and underscores growing divisions within Canadian society. As the debate over the motion unfolds, Canadians must navigate a period of heightened political volatility and uncertainty, mindful of the potential consequences for the nation's democratic institutions and the welfare of its citizens. In the turbulent landscape of Canadian politics, the motion of no confidence tabled by Pierre Polyev against Prime Minister Justin Trudeau marks a critical juncture in the nation's political trajectory. As the debate surrounding the motion intensifies, it becomes increasingly evident that the outcome will have far-reaching implications for the future of the country and the stability of its government. At its core, the motion of no confidence represents a fundamental challenge to Trudeau's leadership and policies, particularly regarding the contentious issue of the carbon tax. Polyev's decision to escalate the confrontation with Trudeau reflects a broader dissatisfaction with the direction of the government and a desire to hold Trudeau accountable for his actions. By framing the motion as a referendum on Trudeau's handling of pollution pricing, Polyev seeks to capitalize on public frustration and anxiety over rising costs and economic uncertainty. Moreover, the timing of the motion is significant, coming at a time of heightened political tensions and uncertainty. With the April 1 price hike of the carbon tax looming large, Polyev's motion taps into widespread opposition to the tax and leverages it as a potent political weapon against Trudeau and the Liberal government. This strategic maneuvering underscores the high-stakes nature of the political game and the intense competition for power and influence within the Canadian political landscape. For Trudeau, the motion of no confidence poses a formidable challenge to his authority and credibility as Prime Minister. Trudeau's response to the motion will be closely scrutinized, as it will reveal his ability to navigate the treacherous political waters and rally support from his allies. Moreover, Trudeau must contend with the broader implications of the motion for the future direction of his government and the Canadian political landscape as a whole. As the debate over the motion unfolds, Canadians are faced with a critical decision about the future of their country and the trajectory of Canadian politics. The outcome of the vote will shape the course of Canadian democracy and determine the fate of Trudeau's government. It will also have profound implications for the welfare of Canadian citizens and the stability of the nation's democratic institutions. In navigating these weighty considerations, Canadians must remain vigilant in holding their elected representatives accountable and ensuring that the principles of democracy and good governance are upheld. Regardless of the outcome of the motion, it is imperative that Canadians continue to actively engage in the political process and advocate for policies that reflect their values and priorities. Pierre Polyev's motion of no confidence represents a pivotal moment in Canadian politics, with profound implications for the future of the country. As the debate surrounding the motion unfolds, Canadians must grapple with the complex issues at stake and make informed decisions about the direction they want their country to take. Only by remaining actively engaged and committed to the democratic process can Canadians ensure that their voices are heard and their concerns addressed in the halls of power.